All right, well, we're back here with the uh, the F-250 4.9 liter straight six, five speed. Um, quick backstory, this truck died again. Um, I went through everything that I know how to diagnose um, as far as fuel pump, spark, air, fuel, had everything, I've replaced everything um, until I realized there's a lot of Ford guys out there and a lot of um, truck guys out here on YouTube that have tried to figure out and have, you know, there, there's so many, there's so many troubleshooting ways you can go about. So the, the telltale problem that I think that I uh, grabbed onto that led me down a more successful diag was the fact that when I turned the key, the fuel pump would, it wouldn't cycle for two seconds to build pressure, it would just stay running. Um, the other factor was a check engine light that would come on every once in a while. So all those factors led me to the PCM, which I probably should have checked from the beginning, seeing how ha symptoms were intermittent, no start, intermittent check engine light and lugging um, on the highway or just during normal driving, it would come and go. Uh, the PCM failure is very common with these trucks. Um, it's right here. There's not a lot of great videos showing you exactly how to do this. It's uh, a 10 mil um, bolt. You unscrew that, you remove the, um, the rubber surround, the waterproofs it, and then you undo it. You also have to remove or loosen your fender liner here to, to give it enough um, clearance to pull it out. Um, I should have post, post picture it, but I grabbed one of these off of eBay for 150 bucks, slapped it in there, um, hooked up the battery jumper, and let's uh, let's see if what she does. All right, nice, fire right up. So yeah, this has been the, my entire ownership with this truck has. Uh, given me a lot of issues probably because of this PCM and now it's running it runs like a champ so there's probably I'll, I'll open up the old one there's probably a bunch of corrosion and whatnot in the old one and you know again it's just a common failure point for these trucks you know and it's probably why I burned out the fuel pump the first time because it was just cycling and running and probably getting hot I mean it, who, who knows but she's uh she's running and driving now so I'm gonna get it home, get it buttoned up, and uh, go from there. But awesome, I'm I'm excited. It's been a while. But yeah, any other any other four truck problems? I think I've uh, I've nailed most of the troubleshooting. So just to let me know in the comments. All right here's the old PCM. Now, if you're gonna make this swap, you have to make sure you get one that lines up serial number and part number wise with the truck you have. I believe you can put a. Well, I'm not even gonna say that. Um, you know, I think the model year for this is 93 to 95 or 93 to 96. But when I open it up here, if you can see, I guess those are uh, those diodes or whatever the hell they are. Yeah, they're both of them are burnout. I'm not sure what they are. I've seen a lot of these online that are more catastrophic failures, but this one you can tell is pretty slight. But but still, I mean, that's not how a circuit board should look. And, I'm happy that's uh, that's what the issue was, and now I just got to put it all back together. So you know, it's 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 funny, you know, everything's in the European cars are documented for all the rovers and whatnot, but American stuff, it's uh, it's a lot harder, at least from from my experience, to track everything down and and get it sorted. So there it is, PCM uh, for the Ford F one fifty four point nine liter.